had this when I was six. I was talented. What happened? Listen, to this day, this is one of my favorite paintings I've ever done. This picture, everything is good. Except the fucking face. He looked like he constipated holding a shit in. His girlfriend just broke up with him, but he still got eight hours of work to do. I'm just going to do acrylic paint. You know, I used to be an acrylic painter. Y'all want to tour my old paintings? We can do that. So y'all know I was competent at one point. I need the social validation that I'm not as ass as I thought I was. Let me grab my paints when I was a kid. Most of these are going to be from like age kindergarten to fifth grade. And I'm going to be honest, they're going to be better than anything I could ever paint to this day. And the crazy thing is, is like I did these like when I was like a fetus. So if I kept painting, I would actually have been like a fucking prodigy. But my dumbass, no, no, no. I blame my mom. My mom, when I was younger, was like, you can't paint anymore. You're not allowed. And I was like, why? And she was like, your art teacher moved then. You're not painting in the house. So, so shout out to my mom um, for killing my, my one skill in life. The Quinn Bennett painting tour. These are like the ones that aren't in the box. I like don't like the least. I like, I dislike the most. So these are the tier ones. So I'm gonna do the ones first, and then we're gonna do the cool ones. First one is a painting I did on my dog. It's a painting on my dog that I did. I think I was, I was in like first grade when I did this. How old are people in first grade? Are you like 10 yet? I don't fucking know. I was in first grade. This is one of my like least favorite ones. I don't think it's that good. You're six in first grade? I did this when I was six. I was talented, what happened? What the f happened? Hey, I did this in third grade. This, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of the actual frog. The leaf looks really good. I think I did good with the brown, but the actual like frog itself is kind of eh. Um, one of the legs is okay. I kind of struggled a bit with the outline. I really, when I was younger, exclusively painted like animals. I was really into animals. Um, so then the other one I don't like this, the reason I don't like this one as it looks like a fucking like cartoon character. Like the fish like is smiling. Like bitch, what was I doing? I made this shit smile. Like why? <laughs> it's so stupid. I think what I did for these was cool. I did like, I got like paint in a straw and I like blew it. Got it really watering. I did this, I think in third grade as well. Most of the paintings are like third, fourth grade. My art teacher moved away when I was in fifth grade. So that's when I stopped. Then this painting. This is on some Bob Ross. This is what we could have had if I like didn't get mad. Um, this is a meadow I did. I was in second grade when I did this. These are still like my least favorite ones. So I was in second grade when I did this. And then this painting. This painting's bad. I'm not listening, guys. This painting is really bad, okay? <laughs> it kind of looks i don't even know what the f this is i'm gonna be honest like i just looked at it in picture of a fish and i was like i'll paint this so uh yeah like look at it's not good okay he looked like he's going through it he looked like he uh inhaled paint fumes so those are the bad ones or like the end ones now we're gonna get to the good sh this is one of my favorite paintings i've ever done i did this in third grade. I won a competition with this, I think. I don't viv I don't really remember. Um, this is it with more colors. But I did uh, yo, for me, listen, to this day, this is one of my favorite paintings I've ever done. I just think it looks so good. The colors are nice. Um, the way I did the stars, I had like a, I got like a wet toothbrush and I like did this to kind of get it to splatter all over. So yeah. I wet toothbrush and I splattered everywhere and that's how i did it and then for these i think i i definitely cheated on the circles i think i used like a like a circle draw thing and then i painted over it yeah i think this is really good i think the colors are good this is good this was i don't remember how old i was when i did this i was either in first second or third grade don't remember this is like a little fountain landscape what i would do is i would look up pictures in like magazines or online and just like paint them so that's another one this one's okay i think the the, down here, I should have, um, if I made it a little bit more white and it would have looked more depth because I think it looks kind of flat. Like there's not a lot of, it's hard to tell that this is like a separate like surface. It just kind of looks like it's going straight down. So this, okay. This I was, I copied it from a picture book. This was the first painting I ever did 
with my art teacher in kindergarten. So she started me off drawing on like paper and using oil pastel. And like, I had to do like this, like whole like color theory bullshit thing. And then when I did that, she let me copy a picture from like a picture book. So I pretty much just like eyeball, like copied this image. So this is like, I think in from some children's book. But yeah, this is the first painting I ever did uh, in kindergarten. Well, this is the first one I did with my art teacher. I think I probably painted before this a little bit. This is from some children's book. I don't remember which one. But yeah, that was me in kindergarten. In my room, I used to hang up all my paintings at my old house. And then we moved and I just never did it here. Because we moved like before I went to college. So this is uh, one of the ones that was on my wall. It's an owl. I like this one. I think the brush technique was interesting. Definitely could have done with more depth for sure. But I think I had, like had the general direction. You can see like my shitty ass handwriting. Bye, Quinn. <laughs> I was in second grade when I did this. I'm trying to remember. It's either second or third. I don't remember. Not first. Yeah, my art teacher was OP. Like literally, I she was so good. Oh, this one. <laughs> This was the second painting I ever did with my art teacher. Second one ever. Now, this picture, everything is good. Except the fucking face. What the f is that face, bro? What is that sh He looks like he's saying, bro, you got me in these CNMEs for. He looked like he constipated holding a sh in. His girlfriend just broke up with him, but he still got eight hours of work to do. This is like when you're sad as an adult, but you know, like you're too busy to be sad. So you try to suppress it, but like, you're not really doing that good of a job. That's what this fish is doing. Okay. You want to use this as a reaction image? Feel free. Oh, I love this one. Okay. I did this in third grade. I did this in third grade. I think I did a good job on this. I think these could have been a little bit more detailed, obviously, but it's an eagle. Murkup. Yeah. Oh, this painting's bad as too. I'm not gonna lie. This painting was a, like an L painting. I vividly remember when I painted this, I was just wanting to get it done because I was like hating it. So I rushed the fuck out of this and it looks terrible. Um... It's a gecko. It's a gecko. I really like painting amphibians. I don't know why. But yeah, I was in like, I was in like, uh, I think second grade. Um, I was really like irritated. I didn't want to do this painting anymore. I was like, I just want this to be over. My art teacher was like, you need to keep doing it. And I was like, I fucking hate this. And so I rushed the fuck out of it. Tree frog. I did this in first grade. Bro was literally like, I'm here. Oh, okay. This next one is one of my favorites. I really like this one to this day. I think I did a good job with this. So the shading and stuff is pretty good. I really like this back leg. It looks very wet, which was it was, was supposed because this was like a, I think this was a dart frog, poison dart frog. If I'm not mistaken. I really liked, I don't know why I was really obsessed with poison dart frogs at the time. Um, so yeah, there's this one. But yeah, I really, this, I actually, I remember I did a school present. There's like Velcro on the back because I did a school presentation and um, I remember I, <laughs> Okay, I low-key did this to flex. I'm not gonna lie. So my art teacher at school at the time, because this lady that I saw wasn't an art teacher at school. She was just some lady that did shit out of her house. She was some like Argentinian lady that just taught painting in her house. And so I would see her after school once a week or twice a week. So I had this and then the other frog paintings I showed you. And I wanted to do a presentation on frogs because we had to do, we had to pick an animal in like third grade to do a presentation on. So what my, what my snarky, snarky ass did was, I intentionally picked frogs so that when you needed to attach images or visuals to the project, I just used my old paintings and just stuck them to like those trifolds. Um, I like velcroed it to the back and velcroed it to the trifold. And so it was displayed in the library and I was sitting there like, I did that. Sh and my art teacher in school was like, was the one with the painted frogs yours? And I was like, yeah. She was like, yeah, I could tell it was really good. And I was like, so I had talent. Um, I don't know where it went. Oh, this, I don't know what the f this is. This was some weird ass bird. You weren't that angry before? You're right. I was more just sad. The, I, what the, f this is a goofy ass bird. Okay. I don't remember what type of bird this is, but I think they're called boobies. I thought they looked funny. I painted boobies when I was little. Okay. I have, th I have four more.
And there's other ones, but they're like so ass. I'm just not even gonna show them. How'd you even know what boobies were at that age? I was a, I was an innovator, bro. I just knew. I knew what I wanted when I was that age, and I've stayed consistent with it. Lizard. I did this in second grade. This is one of my earlier paintings. I feel like I struggled sometimes with thin lines on feet. So I feel like a lot of the intent was here. I think execution was a bit, could be better sometimes. But like I was in third grade or for this second grade, I'm forgetting. And then this is one of my favorite paintings I've done. It's a bird. This is one of my favorite ones. I think this is one of my best ones. I did this in third grade. You had to ask me what type of bird this was. I have no fucking clue. But think it got big feet? No, it doesn't. That's a branch. It has little feet. It has very little feet. Oh my god. You can tell how young I was because look at how I wrote my name. <laughs> my handwriting was so fucking little kiddish. My handwriting was so fucking little kiddish, bro. I wrote like a cartoon character, bitch. You could paint before you could write. Yeah, I wasn't very good at drawing. I, when I sketched stuff, I just made like basic shape. I was told to do that by my art teacher. She was like, there's no point in drawing details in pencil because you're going to paint over it anyways. So just do the basic outline shapes and then you're good. You was drawing triangles and shit. No, dead ass. I was drawing triangles and shit. And then this is, bro, my handwriting was all over the place. What the f Okay, this is another one I did. I really like li like lizards. I don't know why. I like lizards, fish, and frogs. Lizards, fish, and frogs are like my thing, I guess. Uh, I was in, I want to say first grade for this. I feel like from like first to third grade, I don't really feel like I improved a ton. I feel like the skill was kind of like, but it was like similar-ish. Now, this is the second painting I ever did. I guess I did improve. Looking at the second one I'm about to show you, mm. I was in, I was either in kindergarten or for just starting first grade, one or the other. This was the second painting after the, if I said something else was the second painting, I was wrong. That was the third. This was the second one. There's no definition on the line. The face looks crazy. He got like nubs. <laughs> he got nubs. Yeah, those were all my paintings that I liked. He got Lockjaw. <laughs> Lockjaw is insane, bro. Shout out to my mom for kind of wrapping all these up years ago. Yeah, after all of these, I stopped painting up until like last time I streamed it. I kind of was upset that I quit for a while. So I just never tried anymore because I was kind of like, what's the point? I'll never be as good as I once was. We've moved on from that. Now I'm uh, mauling at oil paint. Yeah, this was all acrylic painting. Oil paint. I'm never doing that sucks ass. No, no. If you're thinking about doing oil paint and you're watching this stream, don't do not. Don't touch it. But yeah, those were all my paintings. I probably have more that I don't have saved. I wish I could show you all my old drawings. I would have to look through all my sketchbooks. I had a whole anime face. I used to have a face where I drew like Winx Club too. Like I would just draw random shit. 